Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the full face using only Q-tips challenge. And was it a challenge? I only used Q-tips or cotton swabs, whatever you call them. And I thought it was pretty fun. I think it came out pretty well. I tried I try to challenge myself by using glitter, doing something pretty dramatic and glam. I would also like to mention that I'll be at Gen Beauty NYC the 18th and 19th and I will be doing a meetup. I don't know the information right now, but I'll have it in the description box down below when it's available. Or you can go to my Instagram or Twitter, I'll have all the updates there. And my Snapchat, I'll have all the updates there about my meet and greet at Gen Beauty NYC the 18th and 19th of this month in September. So yeah. So if you guys want to know how I created this look, which I'm pretty sure you don't, <laughs> please keep on watching. Okay. Alright. This is going to be so stupid. <laughs> so for primer, I want to go into the Kat Von D Locket hydrating primer. I'm going to put that in the back of my hand and I'm just going to dip it in and just, oh this is so weird. Ew, this like, the feeling of this on the skin, just like moist q-tips is just really weird. I'm thinking instead of doing foundation first like I normally do, maybe I should do my brows first because I feel like the brows is going to be the messiest thing. So I want to take one Q-tip. I guess I'm going to go into a powder. This is the Browsing from Benefit. It's a little dark, but um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, but that's low-key snatched. Um, don't know how I'm going to do a tail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Try to even up these bad boys. So taking another Q-tip, I'm going to go in with some concealer, and I'm just going to take my Urban Decay concealer, which is a total waste of products, but I'm just going to put that in the back of my hand, and then I'm going to... Yikes. So now I'm doing foundation. And for that, I'm taking a shit ton of fucking Q-tips. I'm going to try to flatten them out. I want to find a rubber band. To be right back. I'm actually, like, genuinely, like, worried. Okay, so I'm going into my It Cosmetics CC Cream in this shade Tan. This is not my shade. Oh, God. I know this looks really dark, I'm going to counteract it with um, concealer later. This is actually applying nicely. Why is this applying nicely? This legitimately like looks good on the skin. I mean, it's not full coverage, but it looks decent. You know what I mean? I'm going to go into like a really light concealer which is my Urban Decay one and I'm going to put that in the back of my hand. Okay, I looked I looked at it up close and it's like not the greatest. Prime the eyes now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to set the under eyes with my Cody Airspun. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 350M palette. Ignore that glue. I'm gonna go into this Morphe 350M palette and I'm gonna focus on these shades over here. You can use my coupon code THOMAS in all caps to save off anything on Morphe. Oh fuck. I'm just kind of like flicking it up to give it like a blend. A blend. So now I'm going into this red shade. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? This is like actually like low key blending. I'm just doing circular motions and I guess this is like helping it blend and I'm doing that like 
flick up method. Just to hide the fact that this is horribly blended, I'm going to put some red glitter on the lid. Um, and this might physically and mentally and emotionally just scar me um, because I already hate working with glitter to begin with. So, so for the glitter um, adhesive, I'm gonna be using the Micah Beauty Stick It. I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> so the boldest and most likely to hide the mess that's on my eyelids right now are my new Bounce and Bella lashes. They'll hide them perfectly. I always wear these lashes when I know this eyeshadow is not doing what it should be doing. I love these lashes. They're very bold, very dramatic, very pretty. You can use my coupon code to save 20% um, off new Bounce them, so definitely check, that out, check them out. And yeah, let's put these bad boys on my eyes. So I have them, the lash in between two Q-tips. And I'm just gonna plop it on like it's some tweezers. That's one lash on. Ew, you can see my, <laughs> you can very clearly in person see that I did not put mascara on my real lashes. Okay, it's really bothering me, so I guess I'm just gonna, um. Get some mascara going here. So I just taped like the tip where I'm going to be putting product and I'm just going to be dipping it into... I'm going to be dipping these Q-tips into this Love Triangle from um, Makeup Geek. It's a contour. And I'm just going to... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now to highlight the face, I'm going to try to keep like some Q-tips flat. I'm just going to kind of like, you know. So for highlighter today, I'm going to use the Coco Bling Artist Couture Highlighter. And I'm just going to dip into the product here. I'm just going to... Oh, Kijoki. Um... Yep, that's a highlight. And now it's time to do the lips. Okay, what am I gonna do for lips? So I'm gonna be taking the Ofer Cosmetics Aries Liquid Lipstick. I think this is a part of Manatee MUA's collaboration or whatever and you can use my coupon code to save 30% off of all over cosmetics so check them out and I'm obviously going to be applying this with them um, with the q-tip I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand a lot <laughs> and I'm going to dip the brush the, the brush
I don't think it turned out that bad to be honest. These are only some, some of the Q-tips that I went through. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the finished look. I think I did a pretty good job. Up close. Up close, it's just not the bee's knees. But I definitely want to see you guys try the try out this challenge. It's really fun to do. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat me if you try it. Definitely make a video on it and I'll watch it and I'll comment and I'll leave you some love, of course. And yeah, I will have some people that I'm going to tag to do this makeup challenge. They don't have to do it. I probably, I doubt that they'll even, uh, even do it. But... I want you guys to try this for yourself because it was a lot of fun to do and I had a lot of fun making this video. So please go check that out. Go check out all my social media in the description box. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!